Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at another light from Next LED. Let's do it. So a couple months ago, you guys, I reviewed uh, an under hood light that Next LED sent to me. Uh, I made a video on it. I'll put the video link up here somewhere if you guys want to go and check that out. And it was a very cool light. I have used it several times, you guys, and it is multifunctional. You can use it under the hood. You can use it on the interior if you open the doors and just clip it on the sides and it goes all the way across the front seats or back seats, lights up the area where you're working. And then you can also stand it on the ground in a V shape to get light if you're working on wheels or something like that. And then you can also take the flashlights off. It's two individual flashlights. You can take them off and use them as regular flashlights if you don't need the whole thing. So it's a really cool light and I've used it several times. Well, they reached out to me again and wanted to send me this. Unfortunately, they sent it to me right when I was buying the business. business. So I do apologize, Next LED, that I'm just now making a video. I know you wanted probably a video before now, um, but I just didn't have anywhere to do it. Well, we finally got the garage pretty much organized to where I can fit one car in here barely and I can work on it. Uh, so once the car was in here, I was like, okay, I need to make a video on this light. And I got tons of videos I plan on making today on our Dodge Journey that I'm cleaning up before you know winter comes in, in a few months. So this light right here is a three in one, which is really cool. So you have a 500 lumen light right here in the middle. It's like a puck light. And then you have a 200 lumen light right here. It's like a little snake light. They call it a flexible detail light. And then it also doubles as a UV light if you're a mechanic. Now this light is probably advertised more for mechanics, but I think it's gonna be good for detailers also, and I'm gonna show you guys why here in just a minute. But as far as uh, this light is concerned though, it probably is more for the mechanic type person, which is me. I am a mechanic and I am also a detailer, so I can benefit from this light in several different ways. So they sent me this catalog the first time um, that they sent me the first light, you guys. In fact, if you haven't seen that video, this is the light that they sent me the first time. And this one right here has a four hour charge time. I have charged it already right out of the box. It only took about an hour right out of the box to charge it. Uh, has two rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Uh, 200 lumen flex light has a 10 hour run time if you're using just the, what I call the snake light, the flex light. Um, 500 lumen light, the disc light has a six hour run time. Uh, five volt, two amp charger, micro USB charger. It can be used plugged in or unplugged, which is cool. In case you forget to charge it, you can still use it. Um, weighs two pounds, IP 43 rated. It is ETL listed and it has a one year warranty. This is going to be a short and sweet video. You guys on this product, I'm just going to showcase what it, I think it can do for detailers and mechanics. And, uh, let's just get right into it. So I just realized I didn't do an unboxing. Let's do an unboxing really quick. You guys. So here's your charger that it comes with. It's a normal smart charger end. So I have tons of those around the house. So if you lose one, it's not, you lose, it, it's not a big deal. And then you have your light. And then inside here is going to be your destructions, instructions. Um, and then there's a business card because the owner sent it to me. So when you open it up, I'm going to show you guys, it's, it's a really cool design. So here it is. It's like a big puck, as you can see. There's the size of my hand. I have probably average size hands, um, but that's how big the light is with my hand on it. So this doubles as a regular light. I'm going to show you. Okay. Or if you're looking for a uh, dye and AC system because you have an AC leak or you put dye in your engine oil, power steering oil, you're trying to find the leak, it doubles as a UV light. I'm hoping the camera picks up. That is purple. It's very purple, uh, but it's a UV light. Uh, underneath, you do have wheels. So when it's on the ground, they're steel, steel ball bearings, basically. They're going to roll around uh, when you have it on the ground because the under car is where this is going to work fantastic for mechanics. But... So this is the first situation I would say that it would be good for mechanics right here. Obviously you can't hang it. There's no way to hang it anywhere to give you light down. But what you can do, if you need light right down here, let me bring you guys a little closer. Basically, if you need light like down here, you can get out the flexible light, right? You can set your light over here on top and see that light, once you bend it into place, it stays like that. So then you can turn this light on and it's going to give you a spotlight of what you're looking for. Let me show you guys. It's like a spotlight. It is actually really bright. It's really nice. 
you're looking for leaks or anything like that, or you just need a quick spotlight on something, that is what this part of it is good for. And I think for mechanics, this would be great when you're trying to work on something down here, you know, a belt or anything like that. I'm trying to keep it from rolling around. But this isn't made for underhood lighting. They have an underhood light, but I'm just saying that this is a situation you could uh, use it in if you wanted to. Now let me show you what it's actually meant for. Okay, so you get under the car, and as you see, there's not a lot of light underneath the car. It's really, really dark. See that? It's got wheels on it, so you can just roll it right on out. And next thing you know, you have tons of light underneath the car for whatever you're working on. Let me do it like this. It's hard to hold the camera and do this, but whatever you're working on gives you plenty of light. Here's the exhaust. Now, if you need to spotlight it, which is what that's for, I'm going to have to put you guys down. These are, these are not easy videos to make as one person. If you need to spotlight something, you can. So, spotlighting here on like the tie rod end, the axle. You know, if you just need light in one spot and you can't get to it with the puck, I call it a puck light, but you just can use the spotlight like that. And then if you have an AC leak, which this car has rear AC lines, they are right there, those aluminum lines. You can just click on, oops, you can click on the ultraviolet light. As you can look at that, that is really, really bright for an ultraviolet light. This would be fantastic for AC work, especially. I like these lines. That is really nice there. I like that a lot because our light we have at work is just a really small UV light we have to use. So that is very, very cool right there. So that's what you'd use it for under the under the car roll it around get to everything you need be able to see what you're looking at and do the work you need to do okay so now i'm going to show you guys the situation where i think in detailing it would come in handy because you're thinking that a, a round light like this really wouldn't come in handy for detailing let me show you that it will so i'm not trying to light up these areas we have the underhood light which you can put across here for that but let's say you're cleaning a headliner well in a car is pretty dark as you can see not once you turn this on you can light up that entire headliner you're going to see any stain <laughs> that may be on it luckily there's none on mine um, but you can see any stain you can put on a seat to get you light over here put on the armrest to get you light there put it all the way in the back seat to get you light on the roof up here this is where it would come into play for detailers in my opinion right here that works fantastic and it's so bright it just looks like daytime in here and it's messing my camera up it looks like daytime in here so cleaning the headliners would be so much easier when you have a good solid light that you can depend on to be able to see all the stains you're trying to get out all right you guys so that's going to do it for this video i don't know if i actually mentioned the name of the product earlier so i need to do that now um, this car, this product is actually called an undercar led work light it is meant it was designed for under the car you know they have the hood light that's for the top this is the underside, but you can benefit from this in more ways than just using it under the car, as I just showed you. Uh, this light is very, very bright. You can use it to light up the whole underside of the car as a mechanic. Uh, you can use the spotlight to get those areas that this light may not be able to reach, like the suspension and stuff. Um, you can use the UV light to look for AC leaks. I think that's where it's a strong selling point on my end as a mechanic. It's really bright. It's got tons of light up. It doesn't look like it maybe on camera. I don't know, but seeing it compared to the little flashlight that I normally use at work, uh, this thing lights it up and finding AC leaks would be so easy. And you can still use it on the top side. You can, if you're looking at the condenser, the compressor, AC lines, you know, it depends on the compressors up high or down low, your evaporator core lines, uh, your dryer, anything in the AC system that you may have leaked uh, dye in or your power steering system or your oils, you know, your oil, you may put dye in it because you have an oil you can't find. You can still hold it like this and it's going to give you way more UV light than this right here is going to give you. So you can still use it by hand and get tons and tons of light under the car. It's going to work great for UV detection also, especially if you have rear lines like my car does. You can just roll it down with these ball bearing rollers. You can just roll it down the floor. It doesn't roll the greatest. I will tell you that um, they do spin. But, and maybe it's my floor because I have those paint chips in it, um, but it doesn't roll the smoothest. But you can roll it right down and you can look at the AC lines from front all the way to the back because as you guys know, 
any car that has rear AC lines, eventually they're gonna leak. As a detailer though, because when I got the product, when they said they wanted to send it to me and I looked it up, I was like, ah, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can even try to say this is for detailing. I'm gonna have to do just a mechanical video. Well, no, as I thought about it, as I messed with it, I was like, this is awesome. This is gonna be awesome for headliners. It's, it, it is, instead of having a light right here, a, a headlight, that you're sweating under all day long, looking up, you know, the headlight, batteries go dead, whatever, or it starts to dim out. This thing has a six hour runtime. It's plenty of time to clean a headliner. Um, six hour runtime on the main light right here, the main light, and it lights up the headliner like crazy, like I showed you guys in the video. So it's gonna be awesome, awesome for detailers for that. And then if you need to look between the seats, you can take the little snake light, the flexible light, you can put it down there between the seats and spotlight and see if you've missed anything that you're cleaning down there cup holders cracks and crevices you normally can't get a light into or a light into, you can use the snake light for that you guys so yeah there's many different uses that you're going to get out of this for mechanics and detailers uh, both can benefit from a light like this you guys and if you do any type of work on your car at home uh, this would be a really good especially if you're laying on your back this would be a really good light for you underneath the car if you're doing some your own mechanical work at home uh, so i want to say thank you to next led for sending this light to me once again i apologize once again that took me so long to make a video Buying the business wasn't in my plans this year, and you sent me the light right when I bought it, and it got crazy. All my inventory was in the garage, but now the inventory is over there. I have enough room over here that I can do a little bit of detailing, not what I can want to do, but I can do a little bit over here. So I was wanting to make the video as soon as I was able to make the video. So once again, thank you so much for sending this to me. I really do appreciate that. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below the video. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.